Greetings, everyone. I have shared with you that nature has the answer to all things. Nature provides the solution to everything in our life, from our health and wellness to our physical, you know, shortcomings or or our triumph in life. Nature provides all the answers. What you're seeing in front of you is a fruit. And if you recognize this fruit, I want you to put it in the comment section for me. Now, how did I come to have this fruit? And why am I using this fruit? Because I saw it in a dream. Now, I know what this is. But in the dream, someone was throwing them over a wall. And the person, I'm, I'm just saying person for lack of a better expression, was telling me that I need to gather them and to use them. And that they were very important. And I was gathering them up in the darkness. I saw it. I knew what it was when I woke up. And in my dream too, I didn't know what it was. And I'm sharing this to, to let you know that um, this is how nature provides me with the remedies. Whenever there is a sickness in my body or um, there is spiritual insight that I need to know, this is how I receive it. I'm going to also say this too. For those of you who are Christians, you often hear that you must confess your sins openly to receive forgiveness. I don't really agree with that, but if that's your fundamental belief, I respect it. But I think that if I have shortcomings or if there are things about myself that is unpleasing, you know, the spirit within shows me that it is and to pay penance for things that I could do or fail to do um, you know meditation comes in and I use that time you know to, to figure out my life there's someone listening to this message today someone need this message trust me Whenever I'm talking, I'm doing a topic and I feel like crying. I know someone is out there feeling this. There's somebody out there that's saying to her or himself, why am I not making any breakthrough in my life? Why am I positioning myself to do, you know, great things? Why am I, you know, putting in the hard work and I'm not seeing any progress? I'm not seeing any changes. And I'm going to tell you right here and right now, it's because you need to connect with that divine uh, spirit that divine Godhead as you would call it to make your breakthrough so you're saying you know I'm kind you know I share my whatever I have with other people and I'm going to tell you that there's that's a misconception that when you give you receive blessing I don't believe that I don't agree we're brought here to serve for service to others and um, we're not going to be rewarded for that so there are rewards though um if you're obedient if you're faithful if you're loving if you're gentle there's reward for those things and i can't speak for you but i'm going to speak for myself to say that in obedience i am more obedient now but to be honest with you there's something that stands between me and my blessing and it is fear and I always tell you do not fear do not allow fear to enter your life because fear is that thing that separates you from that divine and from that blessing until you are able to completely eliminate fear and I am not there um, also pride is one of those things that also stand between you and your blessing you're too proud you know you're in trouble 
and you need to go and ask for help but you're not going to ask for help because you don't want someone to think that you are there that you're going through those things that you're suffering you're holding on to the pride and you're saying i'm not going to beg anything i'm above that and i do understand that sometimes when you show that vulnerability people will abuse it people make you feel bad about yourself but there are times when you have to let go of that pride and you have to reach out and say listen i need help i'm in trouble and so you know i have problems with pride and you know i have fear which i try to eliminate for the most part disobedience is also one of my biggest weaknesses because so far you have not seen genuine and i know that we should never show all of ourselves to people um you know there's a, a little something about that enigma that is intriguing but when it comes to holding back and being disobedient when the, the great I am when the universe speaks and an issue instruction and I out of fear deliver these messages and I deliver deliver them in a way like I try to sanitize it because I'm still fearful it must be fear I must fear what you think and perhaps through experiences I find that when I do come out and say certain things it's frightening I do understand it's scary and the typical black person want to do well love God because we're spiritual beings you love the idea of a God and you love the idea that you have a protection from the God or um, whichever God you serve whether it be uh, Allah or Buddha or Jesus or El Shaddai or Selassie I, whomever you see as your God for the most part we don't want to upset our God and so when you hear certain things and you don't understand it especially when people are talking about you know connecting to the true divine self connecting to you know the the, the, the father and the forefathers and the ancestors and uh, you know the, the the spiritual pathway that our people understood it's very frightening it's frightening for me so i'm going through a period where i'm actually afraid to sleep you can see it in my eyes um, you know, my eyes are tired and getting in deeper and deeper and all. I'm scared to fall asleep because when I fall asleep, some of the things that I see are frightening. They're frightening. And that part of my disobedience says, I can't handle this. There have been times in my life when I say, take this away from me. I can't handle it. And my blessing gets blocked because of it. Because until I can completely surrender to the spirit, the deeper and, and, and great spirit that is within me and around me, I remain blocked in some way. So, so, so lady or gentleman, you're asking yourself this question, what's going on with my life? And I'm going to tell you today, it's your disobedience you see clearly that your pathway is blocked you might not know how or why but you know something isn't right but if you were to meet someone some random stranger on the street would look you straight in the eye and say to you lady or gentleman something is wrong with you uh, there's an energy that's surrounding you I can see it and for those of you who are uncomfortable with this kind of conversation, please log off. I don't want to offend your sensibility. Please log off and we'll connect another day. But I'm speaking to the person who this message is reaching. You know, the person says to you, something is around you. There's an aura around you. That negative vibration that is surrounding you that you need to get rid of. But you are afraid. You know, it's outside of the teachings that you've had. You're afraid to look into it. No one is asking you to go see a seer or go see some person or into the occult practice. But you must know within yourself. And the Spirit is already telling you time and time again something is not right in your life. And all you got to do is spend some time in meditation and ask to be led. 
ask how to break those shackles or those bondages from your past your generational past because many of us are surrounded by these generational curses and you just feel it and you know it you're with a friend and that person definitely has a heaviness that that person carries around them and even though you love them so much it could be a partner it could be a friend it could be a family member you know that heaviness surrounds a person and you love that person but it's hard to be with this individual and you know you love the person but you're not getting along because that person has an energy and a vibration that is surrounding them that's affecting your relationship with this person when they're away from you you miss them but when they come around you it's so heavy there's someone in your life they're very messy very untidy you know and it seems weird that they don't understand that you need your female for example you, you, you're a woman and no matter how much you clean your house as you look around it's messy again a kind of dirt that you can't seem to get rid of you move to a new home and you're not accustomed to keeping your house messy but it never stays clean because there's an energy that is in that space that needs to be removed that energy needs to be removed from that space and it's not about you it's about those who dwell there before you but how do you get rid of that you have to learn you have to ask the spirit to teach you these things and um, as I've shared with you before you know I've had illness within my body and I've never used pharmaceutical drugs to get rid of it but I'm still surviving and it hasn't gotten worse and I still monitor it and every so often my you know spirit guides uh, tell me what to do when to do it how to do it and I share that with you openly but I'm afraid to tell you or give you the messages when I give them when I give when I get those messages that I need to give to you I sanitize them and I give them to you openly maybe because I know that there are people who can't handle it and so I'm disobedient and I give you that version that I think you can handle and I keep saying I'm going to stop that but I learn now that unless I present myself as a living sacrifice unless I use allow myself to be used as a tool the Creator cannot work through me unless I abandon all that pride and that ego I can't help people and that's what I want to do I want to help people I want to not lead people astray I want to lead people to understand in themselves and to get a closer connection with the divine within and without So I would pray and ask for gifts over the years. And I would say, you know, what is my purpose? What am I here to do? I feel I'm supposed to be doing something. Until recently, I understand that I already know what I need to do. I've just resisted because a lot of times we ask for something, but when we get it, we don't know what to do with it. We want to be in a relationship and when that relationship comes you don't know how to be how to act in it you want a particular thing and when you get it it's frightening to you and trust me people some of the things that I see they're frightening and I'm not going to lie sometimes I'm afraid to utter the things but more and more I'm working on that I'm staying connected to what is more important and some of my achievements in life if you can call those achievements some of the breakthroughs I should say you know I've had to rely on the ones that never disappoint that never lead me astray and then I turn around and I'm ashamed of them
them. That's what it is, you know. You're ashamed. Because if you know the truth and you have um, experienced certain things and you see and then you're afraid to declare it or afraid to share it because of what people might say about you, that's not good. Only you can break the yoke that many of you have surrounding you. You know, even sometimes you hear the story that black people, you know, have this curse upon them. But the only curse you have upon you is the one where you've rejected the God in you. And you fail to understand that until you recognize the truth about who you are and what your purpose is in this life, You'll never be more than just a stumbling block. A person who have great potential and never realize that potential. A person who is gifted. But when you have this gift, you have to pronounce and declare who you receive this gift from and not be ashamed. Not be afraid. Not be disobedient. Stay blessed, everyone.